Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I wanted to do a very special distribution review. A distribution I've been wanting to review for a while, just never got a chance. It's actually the best distribution of all time. I've been kind of holding on to this one because it's very special to me. And I wanted to make sure I had some really awesome hardware to review this on. So thank you to System76 for letting me borrow this Darter Pro 15.6 inch laptop. I'm actually going to have a review of this laptop on my channel very soon, so stay tuned for that. But that's not what this video is about. In this video, I am going to review the best Linux distribution ever made that's so amazing that at this point, I don't even feel like anything else should exist. So let's go ahead and check it out. So here it is guys, Hanna Montana Linux. This is the greatest distro of all time. I mean, this distro came in like a wrecking ball when it was first released, destroying everything in its path. As you can see, we have an awesome wallpaper here. We have, of course, the Tux Linux mascot with a Hanna Montana logo on its abdomen. And we also have Hanna Montana herself as made famous by Miley Cyrus. Now, unless you're spending all of your time in Malibu, you know who Miley Cyrus is. And just using this distribution makes me feel younger now. And the reason for that is because this distribution is actually kind of old. But that doesn't matter because when you have a perfect distribution, why release a new version? I mean, this distribution runs so well on this laptop that it's practically twerking. And that's not even the best part. This is a 100% systemd free Linux distribution. And it's also completely free of GNOME because let's face it, after GNOME 2, nobody likes GNOME anymore. And in this distribution, you don't have to put up with GNOME 3 because you have KDE. That's exactly what we're running here is KDE, the K desktop environment. Of course, we could call it Plasma, but who wants to do that? Everybody knows that it's KDE and it has version 4.2.2, which is an absolute classic version of KDE. For the web browser, it has Conqueror, which is this one right here. I mean, who needs Firefox or Google Chrome? Conqueror is awesome. And you know, it's important to have a web browser by default in your distribution because if you are the type of person that wants to argue about politics and who doesn't love that, you want to be able to get to Facebook as quickly as you can and troll anybody who doesn't agree with your political opinions. And if you love online games, but you're just really terrible at it, you could totally just rage quit that game and open up a terminal because Conqueror is available by default and simply just hack the people that made you lose and get your sweet revenge because there's nothing geekier than having a terminal built into your operating system. And we definitely have that here. And that's not all. We have a lot of applications here by default. You see that we have Amarok as our audio player. So whether your favorite Miley album is bangers or younger now, I won't judge you, you could definitely jam to your favorite Miley or Hannah Montana tunes in Amarok. How awesome is that? And for the three or four people out there that has ever used contact for personal email, you'll be happy to see that it's actually included here by default as well. And the fun doesn't stop there. If you're as depressed as I am about AOL Instant Messenger dying off, you can pretend that it still exists and that instant messaging is still relevant by clicking on the Copete Instant Messenger, which is also included by default. We also have the Dolphin File Manager available as well for those of you that have a great collection of legally obtained MP3 files and you want to browse them the old fashioned way, you can actually do that with a classic old fashioned file manager, in this case, Dolphin, which is one of the best. We have IRC for the few of you that still actually think that's a thing. And if that wasn't geeky enough, we have an actual RSS feed reader aggregator here installed by default as well. We have the KRDC, the remote desktop client installed as well. For those of you that are unfortunate enough to have to work with Windows servers, you definitely have a way to connect to those as well. The K snapshot screen capturing program is also included because if you're running the best distribution ever made, you definitely have to take some screenshots and show it off. 
And as you can see, there's a lot of applications that are installed here by default. So pretty much everything you need is here. Now, of course, it is an older distribution, so you're a bit behind on security updates, but who needs that? This is the best distribution ever made, and I'm happy to finally have done a review for this one. So what are your thoughts on HANA Montana Linux? Go ahead and let me know your opinions, and I'll have more videos for you guys very soon. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to help me out, go ahead and check out the links in the description below. And there you'll find a link to purchase my latest book, Mastering Ubuntu Server, 2nd Edition. You'll also find a link to my Patreon page, as well as my Amazon store, which includes a listing of Linux-compatible hardware that I've tested personally. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.